then comes the final stage of the election which is the polling and the counting that is people go and cast their vote in a secret ballot system wherein nobody knows who has voted for whom and this is the polling and now in India we have started using the electronic voting machines by which the counting is done. After the polling, these machines are taken to a safe, secure and far away place and the counting begins. When the counting is going on, the representatives of various political parties are present there so that there is no cheating. And when the counting finishes, then the declaration of the highest number of vote, voting whosoever who has got is declared as the winner and after that it is left to the electronic and the print media to give it to the people the news of the person who has actually won the elections by how many votes and who has lost the election by a margin of how many votes. So that was all about the process of election in India. Another feature that we saw or the body which is very important in the elections is the election commission of India. We will see if exactly the election commission of India is an independent body in India. Yes, it is an independent body because the chief election commissioner of India gets elected or nominated or chosen by the president of India. But once he becomes the election commissioner, that is the chief election commissioner, he is not answerable even to the president of India. He becomes an independent identity by himself. And even if the ruling party is unhappy with his certain decisions, he cannot be removed in that particular election time. So he is all powerful by himself during elections when he is answerable to none, he cannot be removed so he can work in free and fair manner. Well, it makes the election commission of India very, very powerful because it has a very unique position. Not many election commissions of the world enjoy such special status. The election commission of India takes decisions on the code of conduct and whenever any candidate or party tries to go against it, then it can even punish that particular party or candidate. After that, the control of everything, the announcements, everything is made by the election commission of India. The code of conduct of course is approved by them and it also orders the government to not use any unfair means. Besides, when on an election duty, the government officers are not actually in the, under the government, but they come directly under the chief election commissioner, which means that he has to work on the behalf of the chief election commissioner, making the election commission of India all very important and independent and powerful by itself.